All right, so what do we have here? <laughs> Some of you may recall what I'm about to show. This is a little Honda N600 that I've had for some time. And it got put away uh, mid-project due to other time constraints, family things, and other cars and stuff. Uh, basically, I kept getting dirt or rust in the carburetors, and I got sick of cleaning out the carburetors. And that brings me to what? It's got four carburetors. Do you notice that right there? One, two, three, four. Why, might you say, does a Honda N600 have four carburetors? Because it's a four-cylinder. This is a Yamaha FZR motor, in a sport bike motor, in my N600. You can see there is the bike <coughs> dash. And here is the bike engine. <coughs> Excuse me. And I went through a couple of episodes where I designed a uh, differential using the Honda <coughs> 600 stock differential and the bike sprocket. And I'll show you that inside here. So what I'm trying to say is I've resurrected this baby. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got an almond stuck in my throat. So there's our 52 tooth sprocket. It's really big and I wanted a big for torque. I'm not concerned about going 250 miles an hour, but I am concerned about launching this thing from a dead stop <coughs> with the tiny, tiny little bike clutch and the big sprocket, I'm hoping that I can make this, you know, 1,000-pound car move. It's used to moving a 300-pound bike. So we've got our shifter here. It's our ratchet shifter. I'm not so sure I like it. It's a little wimpy, but it is a six-speed. I can feel it engaging gears. Right now I'm working on, <clears throat> excuse me, fuel gauge, which is right. Let me focus in on that. I just have it hooked up, well, mocked up here. Um, I'm going through the wiring, uh, trying to patch into the car wiring to figure out which wires go back to the fuel tank, which is underneath the back floor. And if you looked in the back there, I've been collecting motorcycle exhausts, trying to determine which ones might work for this car, as well as I've got a Honda Civic radiator, <clears throat> because I think it's going to need more cooling. Uh, that is one thing that's held me up, is making the exhaust. You can see I've got to make a super sharp bend. I don't like making a bend that that tight um, that really constricts the high rpm uh shall we say efficiency of the engine so i, I want to make it flow as best possible and i i don't want to go outbound of the car i want to stay within so i've got to figure out how to make a tight bend um, merge them together anyhow that that that's something i've been thinking about <clears throat> anyhow this engine runs car runs the brakes are done today i'm working on the gas tank which is right here <coughs> it's a belly tank and I cleaned it back in 2012 and I put a, a GM 0 to 90 universal uh, sender in there so that's what I'm hooking up now I'm gonna flush the tank make sure there's no crud in it flush the lines and see if I can clean the carburetors look at this tire see that oh, emergency brakes on that thing is about ready to pop 10 inch tire that stock for this little Honda N600. This side is totally slattered with Bondo. It's embarrassing, but we'll have to do for right now. It is all licensed and titled in my name with a permanent registration, which is nice. And I've gutted it and already done most of the hard work. Um, so we're back on it, at least for now. I've had a couple of uh, encouraging words over the years. Some people are kind of angry with me. Why aren't you finishing that thing? Well, guess what? I'm working on it. So, so this is the latest update with this Honda N600 bike-powered car. Maybe you'll see more of it in the future.